Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adale, Georgia. And there's just not a better place to find a good ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today, if you will, take your Bibles and turn with me to the book of 1 Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, and let's look at verse 16. Notice what the Bible says here. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And I certainly pray that God would add his great blessings to the reading of that Holy Scripture on this beautiful day. Friend, get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, amen. There's just not a better way to start a brand new day. Good, fresh, hot coffee and a fresh Word from God. Today, friends, I want to bring to you a devotional thought titled, Hope in the Lord. You know, friends, anyone standing by the graveside of a departed loved one or friend considers the questions that may arise. What do I believe about this event called death? Even knowledgeable Christians have to defend themselves against waves of sadness and longing by remembering the promises of the Lord Jesus Christ concerning faith and eternal life. Those promises... Promises, my friend, based on the resurrection give the Christian renewed hope that is sometimes clouded by grief. Now Job asked the same question. He said, if a man dies, shall he live again? And of course Jesus answered straight to the point. Jesus said, he who lives and believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. He said that in John eleven twenty five. But the new first century believers living in a far-flung place didn't have Jesus' words at hand. So they were often concerned about death. Paul wrote to the church in Thessalonica to assure them that when Jesus appears, the dead in Christ will rise first. Christ was the first fruit from the grave. We are the harvest to follow. The grave of those who die in Christ is truly, my friend, a place of hope. Think about this, and now let's pray together. Father, we thank you so much for the promise of this scripture that we've looked at today. And we're grateful that he who lives and believes in Jesus shall never die, John eleven twenty six. And I pray that you'll help us remember that verse of Scripture. Jesus said that, and then he closed that verse of Scripture 
out saying to us, Believest thou this? And Lord, I believe it with all my heart. And I thank you for that verse of scripture. And I ask God that you bless it to our ears and hearts and help all of us hold on to the fact that if we'll just live and believe in you, that we never die. We pass from death to everlasting life. And we thank you for that. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. Well, friends, I pray the devotion's been a blessing to you today. And if it has, you bless someone else by sharing it with them remembering that your life is the Bible that some will read today. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in and have a blessed and a wonderful day.